Now, if you've been to London, or if you've seen London in pictures or film, you've most likely seen this. This is the Tower of London. And across from it is Tower Bridge, quite a famous bridge. But some history in this general area that you might not know about, directly behind me in an area called Wapping. Now, uh, just a short walk from Tower Bridge, you can find this area here. That's uh, right in front of the Prospect of Whitby, which is now a pub and restaurant. If you go down this little alleyway here, you can go out to the shore along the River Thames. But this area is notable as this is the area called Execution Dock, where people that committed crimes that had anything to do with uh, boats or, or uh, naval activity, such as piracy or mutiny, they would be under the authority of uh, the Royal Navy for punishment. So this area, as you can see, has a hanging uh, gallow here. And uh, what they would do is pretty gruesome. Uh, I'm sure the original was probably a little closer or actually into the water line uh, when it was in use, but they would hang prisoners at low tide in such a way that their bodies would hang there uh, and then at high tide, the, the River Thames is a tidal river, the tide would come up and completely submerge the body and they would let this happen for three cycles. So the tide would come in three times covering the body before they would remove it from the rope. It was quite swelled when it did come out of the water and um, these dead bodies became known as whoppers. So, uh, Something to think about next time you're at Burger King. <laughs> and uh, the origin of the Whopper. Which, I'm sure that's not why they named their hamburger. But, uh, yeah, something to think about. One of the more notable people uh, executed here was Captain William Kidd, who was a naval officer that was charged with uh, fighting piracy. He ended up becoming a pirate himself and found himself the target of the Royal Navy. They eventually tracked him down, brought him back here, and executed him. His body was hung up in a gibbet for over 20 years, so he was nothing but a pile of bones on display for all to see and a warning to others who might commit the same crime. All right, thanks for watching.